Investigators Off the Hook by John Patrick Green. Investigators is copyright by John Patrick Green, and it's published by First Second, an imprint of Roaring Brook Press. Previously on Investigators. Mango, Cracker Dial's getting away with our top secret suitcase. Why would we label a top secret suitcase property of suit? It's fine, I'm gonna capture him. Ah, I guess it's up to me now. Let go of Brash! Whatever you say. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Gotcha, buddy! Now let's stop the train! <laughs> Aw, snap! Ah! Simulation failed. Wait, what the heck? That was a simulation the whole time? What if we're still in a simulation right now? Makes you wonder what's real and what's not. Mango, now's not the time to get existential. You really need to start getting your head in the game. What we really need are some superpowers. Yeah, like ah! me. Wow, you'd make a really good agent. Maybe someday. Ha <laughs> ha, in your dreams, cilantro. You got a new mission. Don't care, bye. Remember me? I'm Bill Plungerman. Yeah, great, good for you. Now get over here so I can say a bunch of puns and acronyms. And I can tell you my entire life story. I don't care what this guy is saying. Why are my eyeballs ease? Oh look, the sun. Do I have a son? What was I doing? I'm Bill Plungerman. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I don't like gobstoppers. Thanks for listening. We really have to hang out more. I've got to admit, it's nice to find someone in a predicament similar to my own. Me, a villainous bucket of unbaked batter. You, a monstrous plumber-tailed snake. Both of us on a quest for revenge. I assume, correct me if I'm wrong, but revenge is a common motivation for villains and monsters. Hey, what's this? The abandoned opera house. That's both grand and epic. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like it's seen better days, but it may have potential for a secret lair. <laughs> I remember seeing this on the news. All this damage is from a rocket that launched under the stage. Look! There's a rocket base in the basement. A rocket basement! Check out all the scientific equipment. We just need a scientist or two to get it working and... Uh, uh, ants. Guess we'll need an exterminator too. Well, at least... Huh? Oh no. Rain? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Pigeons! Gah! Nasty! Shoo! Shoo! This place is definitely a fixer-upper. You may be a plumber, but we'll need a lot more help. Like a bunch of construction workers to repair that roof. Pigeon poop is one thing, but if we find a way to rebake me back into a cracker, I certainly can't risk getting rained on. Back at Suit HQ, Sven, the investigators are here. Sven? Hey, Sven! Huh, where could he be? Hello, Mango and Brash. Sven's just finishing up. I'm Aiden, this is Nine. Oh, hello, Agents Eight and Nine. Huh? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm Aiden. I'm Nine. You're Eight, you're Nine. No, no, Aiden. Nine. That's what I said, Eight and Nine. Aiden. Eight and Nine. Ugh. <laughs> what? Are my ears broken? Gators, over here. Say hello to the latest advancement in Vest technology. Sven, doesn't the T in Vest stand for technology? Hee <laughs> hee, you just said technology, technology. Oh, I uh meant to say it because these vests are twice as technologically advanced. Um, Sven, mm. this looks just like my current vest. Am I missing something? Indeed you are, Brash. Previously, you needed a different vest for each new undercover job, but now... Boop. Cool! I want to hmm. try it out! Be my guest. <laughs> Look, Brash, I'm a train engineer! 
What else can I be? Meep Lumberjack! Meep Referee! Meep Crossing Guard! Meep Ha <laughs> Ha Sport New bar. Camouflage <laughs> Nanotech can change these vest patterns and colors to suit any disguise you need to blend in during your investigations. Oh wow! Mm. You finally used my design for chameleon vests! Meep Cilantro! Have you been here this whole time? I knew my ideas were good enough for the arms division. Uh, Thanks, Mr. Septopus. Check this out, cilantro. Beep. With the breast of his vest, Mingo's ready for the ocean. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna hit the beach. Cilantro's idea should earn her a promotion. Now I'm a fancy waiter. Well, I can't wait. Wait, wait. Stop the montage. I'm sorry, Cilantro, but I didn't get the idea from you. Huh? Yes, you're a chameleon, but octopuses can change their color and texture too. Beep. I've been perfecting this technology for as long as I can remember. But, but... I thought the plural of octopus was octopi. Mmm, pie. Investigators, where are you on the Bill Plungerman case? Sea Orb gave you that file 25 pages ago. You should be at the science factory by now. Oh, yes, sir, General Inspector. On our way. Come on, Brash, put on your new vest. Wait, you're actually wearing my new vest, Mango. That's the color brown that I always wear. Just put on the other one. You can make them any color you want. Me see? Remember, Gators, those vests are prototypes. They haven't been field mm. tested yet. Now, cilantro. Uh, cilantro? Huh. There. Headed to that trailer. Hashtag this. Hashtag that. Construction man. That's four man. What can I do use for? I'd like to hire your crew for a quick fix em up job. You has got any dough for this job? Why, yes. I'm an entire bucket of dough. No. I mean, how you gonna pay for it? Show me the money. Money? Come back when you got some cash. Fine. I'll be back. Let's go, hook line. I meet the strangest peoples on this job. Eh, at least my followers like it. Hashtag dough bucket. Hashtag angry dough. Hashtag no money. Hashtag trench coat. Time to make a withdrawal. I'll do the talking. We don't want to freak anyone out. Next. How can I help you? Hand over the dough. Uh... What? No, not me. I meant for her to hand over the money. What is this? <laughs> Sorry, lady. We're a little new to this. <laughs> Put the money in the bucket. Um, okay. <coughs> yeah. Oh, just like that. And now you hand the dough, me and the money, back over. Hmm? And that's it. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> like giving candy to a baby. Which is even easier than taking candy from a baby. Uh, what just happened? Huh? We were robbed! Me! Meanwhile! Yeah, I remember. Ah, Mango and Brash. Welcome back to the science factory. Thanks, Doc. It's nice to be here when you're not in the middle of a science accident. Give it time. This is only page 54. You two remember our serpentologist, Dr. Morrow. Hello again. It was my snake that got kidnapped by that plumber, Bill Plungerman. Now, now, Tom. It's possible it was the plumber who was kidnapped by your snake. Hmm, true. Snakes can be very persuasive. Does it matter who kidnapped who? The snake's and the plumber's body were physically combined in the last science accident. One can't go anywhere without the other. Yes, their bodies were combined, but now their one body has two heads. And as the head scientist, I can tell you that two heads aren't always better than one. Two heads means two brains, and it's my guess that the brain of the snake and the brain of the plumber are fighting for control over their combined body. That must be what's made Bill Plungerman so hard to find. Who could predict what a snake brain might do with a plumber body? I've discovered another wrench in the works. Well, not a wrench, but a different tool. The plumber's drain snake tool. 
That's right. Bill was here to unclog a drain. But tools don't have brains, Doc. I saw in security footage from the incident that the snake was wrapped around the tool and the plumber's arm at the moment they all got combined. That tool must be how the snake arm got grappling hook powers. With power like that, the snake and or plumber might not want to be found. Or cured. And uncombining their bodies and minds won't be easy. There's a huge risk of the plumber getting the snake's mind or vice versa. And one of them could still be combined with the drain snake tool. But if I can invent a device that can hold both of their minds, we could extract their consciousnesses before we uncombine their bodies and make sure the right mind winds up in the right body afterward. Well, first we need to find this plumber snake combo. Right, Mango? Uh, Mango? Look, Brash, I'm a scientist, just like this giant chicken. Yo. Manklin Brash, the downtown bank has been robbed. Put the bill plunger case on for it, but keep your for it. the robber could be con or side job. Is your vest glitchy? Sven did say these are prototypes. Go under as investment bankers and get to the bottom of it. Copy that. <laughs> this is the perfect opportunity to field test these vests. Beep. Aw, this outfit is boring. Investiga bankers just wear gray suits. You mean investment bankers? That's what I said. Investiga bankers. Investment bankers. Investiga bankers. Ah, oh, forget it. We just need to get to the bank pronto. My name's Mango. Pronto means quickly. Doctor, where's the restroom? Oh, right. You gators get around by flushing yourselves into the sewers. Right in here. Ah! Whoa, Doc. This looks like something straight out of science fiction. This is the toilet of the future. It was made with science fact. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Mango and Brash are putting their search for Bill Plungerman on hold as they are sent to investigate a bank robbery. But little do they know that the villainous fiends that they are searching for are the ones responsible for the bank robbery. Will Mango and Brash be able to crack this case before Cracker Dial and Hook, Line, and Slinker can complete their secret lair? We'll just have to wait and find out on the next episode of Investigators! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! I think I'm having a panic attack. I don't want to wait for the next one. But hold on, you don't have to wait. If you click the link in the description below, you can get the book for yourself and find out what happens. You can also hit subscribe and hit the bell, and then you'll know when the next part comes out. Oh, and by the way, the new book comes out September 28th, and you can pre-order that book by clicking the other link in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.